uh, uh, most of these songs are about my uh, <laughs> terrible uh, emotional instability and um, what's the clinical term? Uh, uh, raging fucking narcissism. Um, so uh, basically, what I'm saying is most of these songs are about how I'm, I'm extremely full of myself, but also very depressed. So I spend a lot of time looking in the mirror, going, "Man, if looks could kill, that'd be great." <laughs> Do it! Do it! Believe it or not, it's not flying. It's just an illusion. What? What? No way! Wow, the thing that... The shit that passes for entertainment. Uh, Insufficient, more. <laughs> I don't, don't, don't patronize me. <laughs> oh, please, police, man, is it a test? I want not to live on the This next song is uh, called Dance Monkey Dance, you fucking piece of shit. Kill yourself. Hashtag Will Wood is over party. Dance Monkey Dance. So, what you gotta do is you say, Am I being to tape? And I'm not under arrest. I want my phone call. You got just a couple hours left. You got a little bottle of psilocybin mushroom and uh, extract capsules you got from a furry in Delaware. Boost, okay? All right, you guys ready? No. Okay, cool. I'll wait. No, don't, don't worry. Take your time. Are you ready? All right. It's not anti-Semitic to call my music spooky. <laughs> a lot of people have apparently been saying that like, because there's a klezmer influence in a Hungarian or minor harmonic key sometimes, uh, that that's like, you know, it means it's got roots in my Jewish heritage, and therefore if you call it spooky, it's because you're playing off this trope. And like, <laughs> I'm just making something perfectly clear. I started that. As a joke, to like just prove how easy it is to make up fake woke shit. Um, and then some person was like, oh my God, Will, I'm so sorry people have been saying that to you. That's so insensitive. And then they went to TikTok and they were like, kill yourself. So um, yeah, I'm just making it clear like, it's, it's okay, you can call it spooky. You could even call it evil jazz, you know? Yeah. It, it's, it's fine. Um, and now put your phones... Nobody come near me, I have ringworm, okay. <laughs> uh, the, the sky. The sky, um, <laughs> yeah. and so hopefully we'll get further than we've gotten before. And there... <laughs> that sounds like music, right? Yeah. I mean, you could you also call you know, going like this on your keyboard piece, which I agree with me. Music. That's true. Thank you. <laughs> That's true, I do that. Sometimes I think, and this is just a theory of mine, that, that if you're not congratulating people at funerals, I doubt your faith. Um, and I'm just saying, it's weird that if you think that somebody's going to be with God, um, that it's ever like, wow, oh, man, I heard about your dad. I'm so sorry. And not like, man, I heard about your dad. So lucky. <laughs> I love my grandma. She deserves to die. That's my hat. Oh, okay. Sorry. I just wanted there's, to fit in. There's a, there's, there's a romance present in music that's not of this time. 
that I just don't think really survived. And <laughs> so if we're... I guess it's just something people do. A bloody knife has been For those of you who are unfamiliar with my existence, well, now you are, but I meant before this. Um, <laughs> uh, my name is Will Wood. I'm from around here. Uh, I was conceived in the autumn of 1992, despite the use of three forms of contraception. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I don't know what bothers me more, the fact that my uh, parents, like, were trying so hard to avoid my existence, or the fact that they still do. Um, or the fact that they told me this. Can we address the elephant in the building? And by that I mean the infant in the front row. <laughs> How old is that thing? <laughs> He's two. I'm gonna go to jail for doing my set. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I was told this had to be clean, television friendly. I didn't know it had to be fit for a baby. I've never written anything fit for a baby. I've never, I don't know if I ever was one myself, to be honest. So the notion of doing stand-up for such a diverse crowd <laughs> makes me very, very nervous. <laughs> Slide me a Genesee Cree email and 40 minutes later I'm in the restroom of a gay bar doing bumps of cocaine off a stranger's house key. He's like, Dustin, I'm telling you, it's always after Labor Day. <laughs> We're smoking pot with a homeless man. His weed. I've actually done that. I've smoked a homeless man's marijuana. Yeah. I was grateful. We passed the thing back and forth like it was 1969. Man, we might as well have kissed. It was a good time. I get along really well with the homeless. I do. Which naturally terrifies me. I think the last thing any 22-year-old man wants to hear coming out of his own mouth is, Ah, oh, yeah, me and the homeless? Tight. It's uh, I'm just gonna, I don't even know anymore. There's uh, there's there's uh, some some uh, some botanicals that are only available outside of this continent, and the psychoactive effects can be a little bit overwhelming. I'm not sure. homeless yeah well um just just the whole uh, the whole the bad 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 but just I, it's killing me it's killing me how am i supposed to focus on entertaining you people when i got children stopping me <laughs> how much time do i have left one minute? Thank God. 
Oh, I just made it worse, didn't I? Okay. <laughs> no, she's. I don't think I've ever seen a grumpier look. <laughs> more avant-garde works. <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of Philip Glass recently, so I'm trying a lot of new different things. So what do you think of that one? A new classic. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> So before I uh, before I end it all, um, I uh, I'm talking about the show. Um, Help. My therapist told me I should stop drinking so much Ooh. because he was saving that bottle for the ride home. Oh. <laughs> that sounds right, right? Mom, kiss the baby. Clarity, kiss the baby. She got kiss the baby. She doesn't have an immune system yet. <laughs> Will Wood, I'm a busy something, I'm a tired something, I'm an over-medicated something, I haven't felt an emotion in several days, it's fantastic. You all should try it, anybody, everybody. You know, my mother used to always say that, uh, that anybody could benefit from therapy, and I would agree with that, anybody could benefit from drugs. There's, even if you're not mentally ill, you could just always take some extra ones because they're going to make you better in one way or another. Yeah, not necessarily permanently. I can't, in good conscience, quite recommend take as many drugs as you can to improve your, uh, uh, your well-being or your state of mind, but I can't in bad conscience do it. So what the fuck? You guys should do more drugs. Now, one thing that I used to fucking do a lot of is drugs. I don't do too many of them anymore because they already done me. You name it, I did it. I did shit that didn't even have names. Just long chemical codes and acronyms. If you look that long enough, you can find your fucking social security number in. The kind of shit that didn't even have street names yet. Yeah, that's the see to make you see the future. It's good shit, man. I highly recommend it. No, I don't. I can't. I can't. I'm responsible here. I'm talking to people with real uh, consequences of the things that I say. But... Uh, what was I saying? Where was I? Oh, yeah, back in the day I used to do it all, man. Fuck, I used to do it all. I was a controlled substance. My blood was illegal. They started testing people's piss for my piss. I could spit in your eye and start seeing shit. But not anymore, which means I'm healthy, which means I'm balanced. Or maybe it just fucking means that, God fucking damn it, I'm just on the right kind of drug now. Maybe, maybe that at this point, what it is, is that the addiction that ran my fucking life before has given way to a more medically acceptable addiction. Maybe the Lamotrigin isn't fucking working! Maybe the fucking mood stabilizers aren't quite fucking working! Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> Overheating a little bit here. Yes. I have too many scalps. Not enough. I didn't fuck you. Um. So to God who made this man, you better have one hell of a plan. Oh. That's broken. New sensations look after you, you go down. That's it. Come your button to all the door and hoping you drown. That's what you get for kicking your keyboard as part of your act. <laughs> I, 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 uh, I, I, I don't do drugs anymore, because they've already done me, um, and, uh, as a result, reality and I are no longer on speaking terms, um, and, uh, basically what I'm saying is I've been hallucinating on a low level since 2011. It's all it really takes, man, is, is one, one bitter blotter you didn't spit out, and that's, that's, that's the end for you, man. Whether or not I kissed enough boys in college has been a subject of quite some debate. Um... <laughs> If it helps, 
for you to think of this next song as uh, being about a man. <laughs> Go for it. Stevens Johnson syndrome on a young girl, panic attack, and a fanatic and a taxi. We're waiting for this, but I'm just all six for them. Give me all your LSD so This is a favo cop out a pro con a one a two a ski lady lady Speaking speaking In true Savannah tradition I go with the tape word shows This is called Vicky's It means shut up you fucking roots I learned to play this over the course of the pandemic Um Yes I was one of those people who was able to learn a new skill over the course of the pandemic. Um, I was also uh, put on uh, new medication. Um, what the fuck? Woo! Stay sick! My psychiatrist, I called her up panicking, going like, listen, they're watching me. I can't sleep at night. I'm hyper vigilant. I know they're watching me. I can't go to bed because I'm not going to go to sleep while it's dark outside. That's when danger happens. I got to keep my eyes open. I'll sleep during the day. That's the safer option. She said, listen, this is a lonzapine. Just call me if you grow tits and die in your sleep. <laughs> and, uh, um, and then I was like, fuck. No. And I didn't take it. Um, <laughs> And uh, I, um, uh, I made it out, as you can see. This is a song. That's, that's all I have to say. It's a song. <laughs> for Ted. It's a song for Ted. Yeah. Ooh. Thank you all so much for coming out. Nowhere in um, Humpty Dumpty does it say anything about him being an egg. <laughs> Think of it, go over it in your head. Doesn't say anything about it, it's just a guy who fell. A human being, ostensibly, one would imagine. Yeah, it is. It's fucking horrifying. It's just the macabre tale of a kingdom of horses attempting to reassemble a dead man. <laughs> Mother Goose, whoever you are, the fuck? <laughs> Goose is just like, yeah, I guess it's pretty freaky of a story. Let's just make him an egg. Good 52. Now it's just a different type of terrifying. <laughs> And that was not enough riffing to finish tuning my baritone ukulele. One day you're going to die! Thank you all so much. I've been Will Wood and I'm not going to be anymore. Thank you. <laughs>